hi beautiful people welcome back to the youtube channel i hope you're all doing well if you are new here hello you are welcome thank you so much for tuning in i hope that you don't make this your last time of seeing my face welcome to the channel over here i share a lot of family and personal lifestyle vlogs as a mom a wife a full-time worker a cameronian living in the uk i do a lot of personal development tips and I also do chit chat about very relatable day-to-day -day situations if this sounds like something that interests you please consider joining this beautiful family by subscribing we have a lot of fun over here you guys would not believe that today is the 15th of December and I'm yet to put up our Christmas tree and this is for reasons beyond my control I'm hoping that by Sunday that's the day after tomorrow we'll put up our Christmas tree so that these kids can at least have that Christmas feeling for a week before christmas finally comes i'm from the warehouse i went to pick up our christmas tree i already have all the ornaments that i need at home my husband just decided to get rid of our christmas tree there was absolutely nothing wrong with that christmas tree but because there was work going on at home he just decided to get rid of so many things even things that were still very fine he decided to just pack them and go throw them away anyway I picked up another Christmas tree and also I needed to pick up some things that sold. This Christmas period is very busy, especially with posts. So I try to make sure that anything that sells, I push it out as soon as possible. These things sold since Wednesday. Today is a Friday. I've picked them up now. You guys saw me packing some. I'll pack the other one at home because it needed a bit of time and i need help with that so i'll take that to the house and we'll finish packing that up and i will go drop them off at the drop off point work today was really hectic i've not had any proper food i only had a cup of tea and this and a piece of banana bread that i baked last night and as soon as i finished work i needed to rush to the mot center to go pick up my car my husband took it there yesterday and they ran the mot test and my car is fit <laughs> to go on the road to carry on being on the road for the next 12 months so i needed to go pick up the car because they close at 5 30 pm and i need the car for tomorrow to do my usual saturday runs and sunday runs and on monday i need it for work so i needed to go pick it up before they close so i've picked that up and i went to the warehouse to pack up the stuff that you guys saw i'm mentally exhausted i need to just go home now finish up a few stuff take a shower wind down and just rest let's just see what the rest of the vlog holds i hope that whatever thing we get up to you get to enjoy it and if you do you know what to do just smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for similar content i will talk to you guys tomorrow hi beautiful people it's a bright sunday morning and we're here at the manchester tennis and football center Mikaya has a tournament she's already gone inside i just want to talk to you guys real quick before i get in they have to assemble at 11 before they start their tournament yesterday was saturday and it was one of those chaotic days i went um, to do a bit of my christmas shopping because i don't want to have to rush when it's christmas weekend you guys know christmas is on a monday and I know that that Saturday and Sunday before Christmas is going to be hectic so I tried to shop for as many things as I could yesterday and also we are trying to finish up some work at home because your girl is hosting Christmas this year so we're trying to well we're not we're definitely not going to finish up everything but we're trying to at least put certain things in place ready to host 
four families for Christmas. So we're doing all of that yesterday. It was a lot. I could not just pick my camera to vlog. So Abigail and I are here to cheer her big sister up. Right, Abigail? Yes. We're here to cheer Mikaya up for her tournament, her tennis tournament. This is the second tournament she will be participating in after like one year plus. The last tournament she had was over a year ago. So let's go see how she performs. I hope I get to vlog in there. If not, then we'll talk to you guys later to let you know how she performed at her tournament. Let's go in, guys. Yeah, she's in there. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah, eat, Hi, eat. my name is Abigail. Okay. How old are you? I'm I'm five years old. Abigail, you're not five years old. How old are you? I'm four years old. Yes, you're four years old. <laughs> Why are you forwarding your age? Why are we here, Abigail? We gotta go watch Pika. Yeah, remember that your best is good enough for us, okay? Okay? I know that you're going to do your best. Are you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Good luck. Thank you. Bye bye. I have a our Kika. Where is she? He's here. Our Kika? Mm -hmm. Are but you? He's way too. <laughs> He's so mom. Okay. Do you have a cheerleader like Abigail? Abigail has been screaming, that is our kicker. That is our kicker. If you don't know, Abigail calls Mikaya kicker. That's the name Abby has decided to call her sister kicker. Abigail, you are the best cheerleader. <laughs> Hi guys, game is over. We've been here for over three hours. The last time Mikai participated in a tournament was like two years ago. And you guys went eight rounds, right, Mika? No, you went seven. Seven rounds, yeah. She went seven rounds. She won some and she lost some, which is fine. Um, at least she gave it her best and that's all that matters. She's improving by the day and I'm proud of her. She'll keep practicing and practicing. At least she's not lost the zeal to continue practicing. Abigail was a bit of a handful as always, but it's okay. We're finished now, so it's time to go home. Not home, actually, I need to pass through Donelm. There's these Venetian blinds that we ordered online yesterday. Uh, we need to go pick it up. Hopefully by the time I get home, my husband will be able to put it up so that we can put up our Christmas tree. Honestly, it is long overdue. It is long overdue. Are, are we ready to go, guys? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Hi. Good, thank you. I'm here to collect an item that we bought online. Yeah, have you got the old number? Picked it up, guys. So long. I don't know if this will fit into the car. We might need to bend one of the seats. Is this touching anybody? No. done guys usually it takes about 73 pounds to top up my tank but I hardly ever leave my tank to go that low before I fill it up usually when I have about one 100 miles left I just top it up I don't want to be in that kind of situation where my fuel is beeping red before I fill it up we left home at half 10 now it's almost 4 p.m. Everyone is starving. Can't wait to get home and just eat.
shot I'll get. You know the tin tail? Yeah. Yes. Angels as well, elves and all that. Yeah. At least the tree is up now. So when I go to the shops, um, maybe on Friday or Saturday, I'll get the tin tail and other accessories to come and add because hmm, yeah, we'll put the bubbles. It's looking okay, but not exactly how I want it to be. So yeah. we'll get. And the kids are happy. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, the kids are happy. Obviously, are you guys happy? Mm -hmm. yeah. I am happy. I'll still get more things to add to the tree before Christmas Day. For now, we'll leave it like this. <laughs> if you like the video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for similar content, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye, guys. Come on, say bye. Bye.